Hello viewers, today we will learn how to trim forward and reverse sequences. As you see, first, uh, uh, first sequences at the start of the sequences are not good and when you go to the downside at the end these trends are uh, these sequence are also not good so how we can trim these forward and reverse sequences here it is a forward sequence and uh, here it is the chromo chromatogram of the reverse sequence you can see uh, we need to trim these we need to remove these sequence at the start and also at the end that may be a machine fault that may be other factor so we how we can trim these sequence let's start uh, first of all we need a bioedit software when you have installed bioedit software in your system then click on the start menu and go to the bioedit otherwise you can type on as a bioedit it will show here like this then you can now click here uh, open sequence set or you can go to the file and clicking on the open it will uh, locate you need to locate the uh, sequence uh, as I kept it all the sequence on the desktop here it is the forward first I want to show you how you can trim forward sequence now click open here it chromatogram and the sequence here is a chromatogram here is the sequence both are open from the forward uh, sequence uh, you need to first go at the end of the sequence here you can see uh, in the end uh, some sequences are not good so you can trim at your own desire for example uh, some sequence are overlapping to each other I will go to the uh, I think so that will be fine uh, that is the 680 for example we go here 680 then go to the your sequence file click it here and uh, here it is the uh, select mode you need to change the mode into edit then here it, here are the sequence uh, nucleotides numbers 10 20 you need to go to sequence 680 here here you want to 680 so you need to 679 will be better uh, here it is a 680 it is showing 680 it will be 6 79 I clicked here then you need to go to edit and click on the select to add it will be selected up to end and you need to click on delete button from your computer click delete then you need to see the chromatogram From the start go to the start of the chromatogram for example if you want to delete first of all uh, all these all these sequence click here here check the sequence numbers are 32 it is showing 32 so go to the uh, start of the sequence and uh, check where is the 32 it's the 31 here is the 32 click on the 32 it is also show the selection from here it is a 32 so go to the edit tab and click select to the beginning it will select all the sequence from the beginning to the desired position of the nucleotide which is 32 and now click on delete button from your keyboard delete from the these are the forward sequence we have trimmed from 
the start and from the end now you can copy it save it these sequences uh, as all your own desire here are many multiple options you can, can go to the edit tab and copy the sequence to clipboard okay you can select copy the sequence to the clipboard here uh, it will copy and you can put paste anywhere and for example I put some format of faster file here you can uh, cop how you can copy or use faster format here uh, I can show you here are the sequence of some strain uh, I can copy it here you you need to click copy here it is the control C copy and now you can uh, control uh, press control B into paste here it is the copy paste sequence for example we can write here sequence 1 and click enter and uh, go to the here sequence 1 have sequence sequence one have multiple uh, copied of the sequence of previously you can select all control a and press backspace button or delete it will uh, delete all of your sequence and press control s as a save now go back to the your bio edit program select select forward sequence and click on the bio, uh, edit tab and click on the copy sequence to clipboard and go to the your notepad file and press ctrl v paste it here now we have trimmed forward sequence and now we need to trim reverse sequence you can close all these now go to the again your desired sequence here is the reverse sequence this is now open you can view all of your chromatogram peaks first go to the end at the end some of the sequences are noisy that cannot be very good in the identification of uh, identification of you can say bacteria so uh, I, I, I can I can delete at the end of all the sequence for example uh, I want to select it here 730 base sequence or you can select at the 740 740 will be okay so where uh, I will go to the 740 diplotide here is the 740 you need to select mode added click on the 740 and uh, go to edit tab and click select to end it is selected and from your computer press space button uh, sorry backspace button or delete button it is deleted now now you can go to the start of your chromatogram now go to the start at the start some peak are overlapping you can ignore them or uh, do not select them there are the third here is the 30 uh, many sequence are starting from uh, peak are very good so you can select the sequence up to 30 here, here you can see the selection is 30 so go to the edit tab and select to the beginning and press delete button here it is the reverse sequence you can go to the edit tab and click copy again I am showing you copy sequence to the clipboard and go to the your first file and paste it here here are the trim forward and reverse reaction a forward and reverse sequences after that you need to develop consensus sequence and you 
need to develop consensus sequence to blast these sequence into the NCBI nucleotide blast and you can identify that strain. I hope you can understand. Please follow this channel for more videos and uh, for informative uh, knowledge.